I'm going to show you how to upload a course you have recorded with the Cross Country app to the toolkit so that you can edit it, print it and publish it in our library. First, click the I button at the bottom right of the course list to log into your account. Click the Done button when you have logged in. Now we are ready to upload this Munstead Pony Club course sent in by Aidan McGinley. It is important if you are uploading several courses from the same event to give them exactly the same name so that they are grouped together in the library. It makes them much easier to manage. Open up the course and click the Share button on the bottom right. Click Upload. You can either make the course public straight away or later. We will choose later because we're going to change a few things first. So now the course is uploading. How long this takes depends on how many photos and videos you have and the speed of your internet. When it is uploaded, you can open it in the toolkit. Now we are looking at the course in the toolkit. We're not in the Cross Country app anymore, we're working in the cloud, over the internet. You can open the toolkit on your phone, as you see here, or on your tablet or desktop computer. It runs on any device. We can edit the course, drag the track, add and automatically renumber fences. We can print it and get time and distance statistics. We can explore these later. Right now, we're getting the course ready to publish. Click Change Image. There are two important things to do before you publish. Make an attractive thumbnail and add a description for the course library to encourage people to look at your course. In the description, you can put your name and a comment about the course or a link to live scoring or the event website. Under the Advanced tab, you can add further information, such as the minimum time and the official distance. Now we're ready to make the course public. Save it and it will be published in our library. Let people know about your course. The center icon makes it easy to share on social media. You can also share a direct link or embed the course map in your website. Finally, click the cloud icon to download the course back to your cross-country app. You will now have the latest version on both your app and the toolkit.